People from communities all over the state worked to save what they could. Entire towns have been virtually wiped off the map. More and more heartbreaking images coming yeah. into our newsroom and Jamie Chambers got a closer look at some of those towns over in the Santa Am Canyon. He joins us now live with more Jamie. Yeah, we're also seeing a lot of folks start to head back to their houses, getting a, a per first hand look at this. And right now you got toxic air, toxic water because there's a boil order for that. But at the same time, with all the destruction and frustration, you're also starting to hear signs of hope and optimism about already getting ready to rebuild. The landscape of destruction blends from one town to the next as we surveyed the communities partially and in some cases virtually wiped out by the Beachy Creek fire. They came around doing all sorts of noises with their car and saying you got to leave now, leave now. Detroit survivors are now in a state of shock with the losses in the lakeside resort town. Our total income because I was retired is gone. We used to have income from the lease of the Cedars and the business. I had two cabins I had income from, and they're not there anymore. Samantha O'Leary was feeling the small town jitters, but now everything has changed. It's weird to think that the things I was trying to get away from are gone now, because I just always assumed they would be there. The unsung heroes of the recovery are the logging, communications, and utility workers who risk their lives and health to clear Highway 22. Electrical lines have been fried and massive trees have fallen or are looming overhead as toxic air chokes workers and fire crews still efforting control of the area. The local communities of Detroit, Gates, Lyons, Mill City, Mahama, all have suffered to varying degrees. And while most are still in shock, the ideas of returning stronger are picking up steam. One day there'll be something there. Again, I'm going to try and get in um, with the rebuild. We'll build something. I just don't know what it'll look like yet. And that's one of the things that people are talking a lot about. They're talking about now this new economy to rebuild all of the communities along 22. There's going to be a lot of work and a lot of strife to get back to where they were just a few weeks ago. That's the very latest from Lions. Jamie Chambers, Coin6 News. All right, Jamie, once again, thank you for those incredible pictures and interviews. And a Marion County